So in this video, I've got two brilliant products to show you in the pet niche, in the dog niche specifically. Both these products are selling really well right this second as well, making them great options for you guys to test out um, if you want to, of course. I'm gonna show you the products, obviously. I'll show you the ad creative. I'll show you the results it's getting. I'll show you where to source it from, and I'll show you what these guys are selling it for as well, so you know exactly what kind of setup that you're looking to replicate. One thing I will say is, or one thing that I also want to do in addition in this video is talk about the strategy behind these products because it's one thing to show you a product that's selling really well, but unless you understand why it's selling really well, then it becomes, it's a lot more difficult to replicate that same success. Obviously, you don't just want to copy and paste somebody's businesses, somebody's business, it's bad practice, it's not always guaranteed to work. And unless you actually understand the business yourself, when you come up against that first roadblock, that first hurdle, then unless you understand things on a deeper level, you're not going to be able to get past or overcome that roadblock. So today I'm going to talk about the strategy these guys are using and how we can replicate it into your own business to grow that into a success as well. So the first product I'm going to show you, I'm quite excited about, to be honest, because the amount of engagements, the response this product has got, the popularity is pretty phenomenal. So it's from a company called Pawsome. Definitely go and check these guys out. It's a Shopify store that you should be following. They seem to come up with winning product after winning product. If you're in the pet niche, definitely a good company to follow. This particular post has been going since January 4th, and in that time, I've got 83,000 reactions, 4,000 comments, and nearly 6,000 shares. So it goes without saying that people are responding and engaging with this on a pretty high level, and it's also pretty obvious why as well. I mean, just look at the first couple of seconds of a puppy wrapped up all snugly in bed with this teddy. It's pretty cute, to be honest, isn't it? It's the sort of thing that when people see, they just, they want to watch it. Not necessarily because they want to buy the product, but just because it makes good viewing. And that in itself is the strategy that they've gone for. And it's also something that I think a lot of people forget about as well. Like we're advertising on social media platform. Our goal is yes, to sell a product, but in order to do that, we need to get eyeballs on it. And to get eyeballs onto a creative, there needs to be a reason for somebody to want to watch it, or even better, to share it with somebody who would also want to watch it, to piggyback off that kind of like organic reach. Another strategy that they've definitely followed and encompassed, which is a brilliant one to adopt, is they've taken a product that's done really well in one niche and sold it in a completely different niche, which I've seen quite a few companies do over the years. I might, if you've been following the channel, you'll know maybe a year or two ago, I did a video on a company that it was this flapping fish toy that was specifically for cats or for dogs and somebody sold it in the baby niche. So the opposite way around to what this is. This is quite clearly a children's toy, a baby's toy, a newborn baby you would put in the cot in the crib. It plays these lifelike heartbeat sounds and the movement and the warmth helps them sleep. So somebody's taken it from that niche and applied it to the dog niche and the success has been pretty awesome. People of course treat their dogs, especially brand new puppies, like they would a real human, like they would a baby. So that emotional kind of connection and wanting to give your puppy the best transfers across from the baby and children's niche as well. So let's just see what people are saying about this. So I bought one, it's cute, but my dog won't cuddle with it. So one hour ago, that just kind of proves People are indeed still seeing this, it's still active, it's still working. Just look at how many comments, these aren't even the newest either, these are just most relevant. And just see what people are saying about it. As I mentioned, look, so Lynn here put, I had something like that for my baby. I want this for me, I'm definitely getting one. Even for children, love this idea, fantastic idea. I use my dogs as a calming pillow, now they have one of their own. So what I'm looking for is intent from people, but I'm also looking for people who have said they've actually bought this product as well, because obviously engagement is one thing, but we want to know that people are actually going to buy it too. So great for young animals, great toy for calming. What a great idea, I need one for myself. We ordered one, so there's a couple of people I think we could do with one of those. I'm waiting for mine, I'm in a hurry, so there's another person who's ordered one of these. Let's just have a look at what sort of traction this is getting. And let's go for the newest. Let's load up, so three hours ago, one week, 36 minutes, one hour, one hour, three hours, three hours. I bought one, it's cute. Five hours, five hours, nine hours, 11 hours. As you can see, significant amount of comments all within the last 24 hours, which proves this is working right now, right this second. So what are you waiting for? Get this on your Shopify store and start selling it. Let's jump onto the actual store that is selling it. And just to point out some of the few 
different design pieces or strategies that I adopt in my stores as well, um, which I really, really like, is the different bullet points for the different benefits of the product. So somebody doesn't have to scroll all the way through and spend five minutes or so reading all the different um, paragraphs and headings, so on and so forth. If you bullet point them nicely at the top, they can get all the information they need in that first section of page that loads, and they can just go straight ahead and click that add to cart button. They've got when delivery is still expected, what the returns policy is, and there's more social proof with the reviews um, and the 20,000 plus customers there. I will just double check the reviews. So this is another popular strategy I'm seeing from quite a lot of Shopify stores, is at the top here, they'll have 4.8, 4.7, some kind of like review score, followed by the amount of reviews, but then when you actually try to find them, there's no evidence of them. So that would indicate, I've not tried this myself, but it would indicate that a lot of consumers aren't even checking out the reviews and they're kind of taking a word for it. Obviously, this is super important to do as long as you have a product that people want. The number one thing that will change or influence somebody's decision is their desire to buy the product, their desire to want the product. So they're selling a one-off for $27.99. If we jump onto AliExpress, we can see the same kind of stitching for the tiers. Let's play this video. We can see the same movements. It's basically the same product. This comes with free shipping, fast shipping as well within eight days for three euros 20, which is about three pounds. So there's at least that 20 pound room that I keep mentioning when you're selecting your products. So definitely, definitely, definitely a strong contender for anybody watching this who is in the dog niche. Before we move on to product number two, I just wanna make you aware of my mentorship program that currently has just one spot left for April. It's a one-to-one -one mentorship with myself. I will hold your hand through the entire process of selecting your product, launching the product, introducing you to suppliers who can deliver it quickly to your country choice and of course launching profitable social media campaigns and getting your business past that 10k per month milestone if you are looking for somebody to help you guide through the process and simplify it and avoid the easier mistakes that people make then what you need to do is once you finish watching this video check out the description below you'll see this mentorship link here just click that it's going to take you to this type form once it loads. It's a series of three or four questions, super quick and easy to fill out. It's a chance for me to get to know you um, briefly, where you are at the moment, where you want to get to, and then if you've got a realistic goal that I can help you achieve, you'll get through to my calendar where you'll be able to book a date and time where me and you can jump on a call and have a chat um, about how the mentorship works. So if that sounds good, make sure you check that out in a second. Moving on to product number two then is a brilliant, brilliant product. It's not a stereotypical dropshipping product that's easy to get hold of. I believe they will have some kind of relationship with a supplier probably on Alibaba that's selling these things. As you can see, the product does come branded. If I can find that again for you. There we go. So clearly they've got their logo on this and it arrives nice and branded, really professional. It's not just a run of the mill dropshipping product that anybody can copy and replicate. I can't stress the power of this enough. Too many people build these pop-up dropshipping stores that anybody can replicate in a space of a couple of hours and they expect to succeed. When, if you think about it, if it really was that easy, everybody would be multi, multi-millionaires by now. You have to be willing to go to that next level that most people are not willing to get to because in the harsh reality is, in any industry, it's like the top couple of percent maybe that actually make money and go on to be successful doing this. So you have to be willing to do what the 95% of people aren't. This is a brilliant product then. The strategy they're using, which you guys can use at home, is they are combining two passions into one. So they have the passion, obviously, of dogs and they have the passion of people who are military, have a military background. So it's a product that speaks specifically to a specific type of customer. They're not just trying to sell a dog product to all dog owners, they're selling a military dog product to people who probably more than likely have larger dogs and they have a military background. So it's a match made in heaven for anybody who matches that kind of customer profile. When they see this product, they're just gonna to have to buy it because it's one of the only things they have seen that has been aimed specifically to them. Sometimes the difference between a business succeeding and failing is just narrowing down on who your ideal target market is. Like I mentioned, instead of trying to sell a generic dog product to all dog owners, selling a specific product to a specific 
type of dog owner. Let's have a look at what people are saying then. So 7.9 thousand reactions, 857 comments, 1.2 thousand shares. Um, let's go for the newest and see when they're from. So 14 hours, 16 hours, 16, 16, 16, 19, 21, 22, 23, one day, one day, one day. So not quite as many comments from the last 24 hours as the previous post, but that previous post was pretty pretty phenomenal. It's gonna be difficult to compete with that, but nonetheless, they're still doing a very good job. There's still a significant amount of people commenting in the last 24 hours, which just shows you it's still active, it's still working, and it's a strategy that you can take and adopt into a different product. Let's go through the comments and see what people are saying. See if we can find anybody who's bought one of these things. So got one for my dog straight away in the last week. There's somebody um, with the American flag in the background as well. So that kind of there shows you who the ideal kind of customer is. It's somebody who's obviously with a military background, somebody who's patriotic um, and, and obviously has dogs as well. So the dog goes nowhere anywhere. Dog goes nowhere, does not go anywhere without it now, loves it. Need one for my German Shepherd. I kind of touched on that earlier about going for the larger dog breeds. I've got one, Chris White. We have a German Shepherd that's retired. He loves it and extremely durable. My boy Gunny needs one. I got one for my canine. My dog loves this. So as you can see, there's quite a few people that have gone for this and actually gone ahead and bought one. Jumping onto the store then, as you can see, again, it's just not a typical Shopify dropshipping store, which I like to see. Consumers can, they can smell, they can see a dropshipping store from a mile off now. So try and do things differently to the typical kind of Shopify store. What's really interesting about this though, is there's no price. There's no price on the product page, which I've not seen somebody do before. It's interesting that, and perhaps something I'll consider testing, but it's almost like people have to click the add to cart button in order to find out how much it is. And because it takes them that one step further into the checkout process, maybe, people more often than not are thinking, sorry, I'll just go all the way and actually buy it. So an interesting strategy, perhaps something to test in your own stores, um, but just approach with caution. It's not a textbook thing to do, but it must be working one way or the other. Otherwise they wouldn't be doing it, obviously. And with that being said, that's it for this video. I hope you guys have stayed tuned and enjoyed it. I found something valuable and I've sparked some ideas and got you excited about your own business. As I mentioned before, if you are looking for some help from myself one-to-one -to, -one to hold your hand through the entire process and launching your business to that 10K per month milestone, make sure you check out that mentorship application and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.